Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Faber Castle flat print brushes. So this is basically synthetic hair and it has four sizes in them which is I think one, um, two, four and six. So I got this for INR 140. So let's open this and find out how they are. So there are some details over here that um, it's synthetic, fast drying, easy to clean, has a wooden handle and it's ideal for wet on wet glazing and dry brush techniques. And um, you, this is the brush care, you have to wash it immediately uh, with some soap and lukewarm water. I don't really use soap, I normally just use regular water and clean them and um, dry in a flat position and store with bristles up. So this is very important, whenever you're storing your brushes, you will always have them in an upright position so you can just take, take like an old cup or um, pencil holder and then keep them up like this and in your drying them keep them flat so i'm going to try these on um, some gouache and also we'll try this with some watercolors and we'll see how the brushes are um, so any new brush that you get it will always be like this it will be very stiff that's because there is some gum which is there inside it so all you need to do is just dip it in some water and it becomes perfectly flexible and soft. So this is a very important tip to know whenever you're buying new brushes. All right, so I'm gonna get my paints and we'll get a sketchbook and we'll try out these brushes. All right, so I've got my things over here. So I'm gonna try it out with some gouache first. You could also use poster paints. So I prefer using synthetic brushes for gouache and I don't really use synthetic brushes for watercolors, but today we'll try out both and we'll see how they fare. There is a lot of thunderstorm that's happening. So if you hear um, thunders <laughs> behind, then you will know it is that. All right, so I'm getting some orange and hopefully I'll be able to open this one. So why do I use some um, gosh uh, with synthetic brushes? Because I think it's very, very easy um, to use it with them. It uh, comes out much better and when you have to use for watercolors, I feel like synthetic brushes are not that good. So that's why I have that. That's just a personal preference. Uh, you could always like do what you feel like. All right, so I'm gonna wash each brush and we're gonna just test out how it is. This is my size one. It's good to hold. It's got a nice um, feel to it. So let's try out some strokes. So I like the dry brush and even for filling, I think this is quite nice. So that was our size one. I'm now moving on to size two. And after washing, it looks pretty good. It hasn't created any issue. Let's try a different color for size two. So dry brush is very important because it helps you to figure out different techniques. Um, so I like trying out dry brush whenever I get like a new set to understand how it works. So size two is good. So I don't see such a big difference between size one and two actually. Um, let's just get them side by side and see if there is an actual difference. So if I've got my size two here. So there's a very, very minute difference. It's actually not too much um, between size one and two. It's just kind of strange, um, but it's all right. Now I've got size four. And you can see it's got a good difference. I like how the colors are easy to apply. It takes up like the whole space so that it's very good. Um, that's a big plus for me. And now let's try size six. Again, really good. So the difference between four and six is quite visible, which is nice. But between one and two, it's almost not visible. I think they look almost the same to me, but I like how they are. I like the feel of the brush. Of course, I will need to use it for much longer to understand if um, they're going to stay this way or if the bristles are going to get damaged. 
So I'm going to now try out some watercolors with these same brushes. So if you're going to be looking to get these brushes to buy some watercolors um, and then try them out with that, then you will know if this will work for you. So I'm just going to quickly dry out my brushes and let's do the same thing. I'm going to start off with my size one first and we'll pick out some different colors this time, maybe a nice blue. Uh, this set of watercolors is from White Nights. It is quite good, but um, it's a little dry, so which is why I don't like synthetic brushes so much for watercolors because they don't hold a lot of water. So if you are looking to hold a lot of water, then um, I would not recommend synthetic. I would recommend probably um, some other hair. There are a lot of different versions which come out there. So you should look at that. I am going to try out another color. This is size two. Again, like, so it dries out really fast. So it still will serve the purpose. But if you are um, looking to get these exclusively for watercolors, I would not recommend it. I would still recommend these for um, poster colors or gouache, because for that, you don't really need a lot of water to stay in your brush. So size four, um, this was size four. Yes, that was pretty good. Now I'm going to try, try the last size, which is the size eight, um, sorry, size six. But it does look pretty big to me. That the size six itself is like a size eight. So it's nice. Um, I can see some strokes, but like it's not really that bad. So my personal preference for these brushes, I'm definitely going to be using them for a lot of my gouache work and for my poster colors. Um, you can use them for acrylics, but if you are going to use these brushes for acrylics, then my recommendation would be to make sure that you use them only for acrylics. Do not mix them with any other uh, medium. Ideally, it's always best to have each um, brush for a specific medium. Don't mix it around. Um, there are some stains of colors that I can see. I think it's with the um, watercolors, but it's this is very normal to have. So don't worry if your brushes get stained a little bit. It is perfectly all right. So I hope this was useful for you for the price of 140. I think these brushes are very, very good. So if you're a beginner, then definitely you should get them and practice a lot of artworks with these brushes and let me know what you think about it. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I will see you soon for the next one. Bye-bye.